today I'm here on the Garan Plateau on the north coast of Northern Ireland. This is one of the sites where we've delivered conservation works for Blanket Bog. CAB is a five year, five million euro funded project. It's funded through the Interreg 5A programme administered locally by the special EU programmes body. RSPB Northern Ireland is the lead partner and we're working in conjunction with five other partners, Birdwatch Ireland, RSPB Scotland, Northern Ireland Water, Butterfly Conservation and Moors for the Future. We operate in three countries, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Ireland, and have already delivered capital works to improve habitats, mainly blanket bog, and conserve species, including the marsh fertility butterfly and breeding wading birds. Our peatlands are in trouble. Over the years, we've drained them, we've overgrazed them, we've extracted peat, we've burnt them, and we've planted forests on them. As part of the CAB project, we have implemented works that have improved the condition of the peatlands on over 3,000 hectares of blanket bog. We've done this work by blocking up the drains that were created decades ago. In doing so, the water level rises. The sphagnum mosses, the key plant that really makes the peat on a blanket bog, is allowed to grow. When it grows, it captures carbon, and that carbon is then captured in the peat. So as a result of the CAB project, we not only have blanket bogs that are in better condition for the habitats and species that thrive in them, we've also captured carbon, and in capturing that carbon, we're helping to mitigate against climate change. As well as the drain blocking sites, we've written eight conservation action plans across the three countries. We liaised with landowners, with statutory agencies, and with other stakeholders. There are many actions contained within those action plans themselves, and when those actions are implemented, it will get the sites into really good condition. So since 2017, we've been working on the cooperation across borders for biodiversity project, and that has focused in on the SPA here in Muirkirk and improving the conservation status of it. So that's really for a lot of the species that are present, but also the habitats. CAB has helped us expand into the SPA and work with other landowners, uh, farmers and estate and it's given us the, the chance to, to offer that engagement and advice that, that we can and, and do some of the, the habitat restorations on their land. So we've been able to, across the SPA since 2017, uh, undertake just, just under 1,000 hectares of, of peatland restoration. So that's 1,000 hectares of peat that's in much better condition now. Birdwatch Ireland has worked with landowners, including National Parks and Wildlife Service, to ensure a bright future for over 450 hectares of blanket bog. This bog land is at Fidden Darry in the Ox Mountains near Sligo, and over 3,000 dams have been put in place to keep the water levels high on the land. This bog restoration also benefits the iconic Curlew, whose numbers have dropped dramatically over the past few decades. On the Garan Plateau, Northern Ireland Water are our key delivery partner. They've improved the condition on over 500 hectares of blanket bog by putting in place a thousand dams in drains. Those dams hold the water on the blanket bog for longer, allow the sphagnum mosses to grow. Northern Ireland Water regard the Garn project to really be the flagship scheme for peatland restoration here in Northern Ireland. And we've already taken the methodologies developed here at Garn and the working practices and applied them to other projects that we're working on. Munchies Moss is located in the southeast corner of Loch Ness and is protected for a wide range of plants and animals, including marsh fertility butterfly and the Irish damselfly. CAB has enabled us to do lots of work here at Munchies Moss. We've installed kilometres of fencing so we can now graze safely with cattle and ponies uh, to provide optimal habitat conditions for marsh fertility. We've also cleared a lot of scrub using contractors and volunteer team. So we've cleared over 11 hectares of scrub, which will improve conditions for marsh fertility butterfly. Managing Munchies Moss is a real team effort. We work closely with the local grazier. We also partner with Butterfly Conservation who have done lots of work with private landowners 
to improve conditions for Marsh Patrilli Butterfly. RSPB have a long-term management agreement with the Northern Ireland Environment Agency and will continue to manage Munchies Moss as a reserve. This will allow us to showcase Marsh Fertillery and Irish Damselfly to the wider public and the local community here. RSPB Northern Ireland has been able to purchase some specialist equipment in order to get the land and the islands in Fermanagh into really good condition for lapwing, curlew, snipe and redshank. In Ireland, Birdwatch Ireland has worked in partnership with National Parks and Wildlife Service and other landowners to get the land into condition for lapwing through erection of predator fencing and through grazing. In Scotland, RSPB Scotland has been able to cut rushes on land, to erect fences and to graze that land in order to get it into good condition. Working in partnership, we've been able to deliver so much more than the sum of our individual parts. Input from statutory agencies, universities, specialists, contractors, our partners and volunteers have all been vital in the delivery of the CAB project. We look forward to working with our partners again in the future and extrapolating upon the good works done through the CAB project. Sequestering more carbon, restoring more peatlands, linking more people with their environment and safeguarding those iconic species.